Hi everybody, I'm Jesse. Yeah, I'm Judith. We're the Jaunty oh, Jays. <laughs> <laughs> we're on our way to McLean's. Well, we haven't left the driveway yet, but we're about to um, go pick up our very first RV. And it's a tiny little B-Way Adventure Star teardrop. We are so excited. Very. And so um, there's researching this, there have not been many people that we could ask questions no. about this little teardrop. So we thought we would start a channel and just share our experiences as we go along. Yep. Okay, we'll check in later. Hey everybody, we are back at the house, got our trailer, so excited, and so we're going to do a little walkthrough, show you all the stuff on the trailer, uh, still hooked up to the car so the lights are on, don't worry, it's okay. Uh, so start with right here on the outside, we've got your water intake, just a gravity feed, spin that little thing out, run your hose in there, all that. Uh, I think it's five gallons is what they said, and got shore power, it's a very, since how these are made in Ur Uruguay, I guess it's got a weird plug, So, but we have an adapter, so. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go into the galley. So you got a latch on both sides for uh, stability, I guess. Well, there's the galley. Got a pass through that goes into the cabin, so you can spin this TV around if you want. So handy dandy. <clears throat> Sink got a little little pump on it, so when you got water in the tank, we don't have any water in the tank. You can get you some running water. I uh, got uh, lights and all. Oh, I got to turn on electricity and a uh, 12 volt outlet. Got some storage space here. There's our adapter. And you got a, a battery shut off, little battery, little charger, and that's the main breaker. So I'll turn everything on. And the adapter was, um, it came as um, part of the trailer. Yes. Oh, got some lights on the galley there. So that's handy. And you got a pretty good amount of storage, really. And got our cooler with a little slide out tray on it. So, got our goodies in there. We're ready to go already. I'll load it up. So, and it does have uh, does have some cheat sheets here for your electrically inclined folks and all that. So, that's, that's helpful if you need to do any work on the trailer or something. Or somebody else does work on your trailer. <clears throat> Close this up. Moving along to the main cabin, you got two windows on this side. A little portal there and a bigger window here. It does have a screen with a roll down sunshade, which is kind of handy. <clears throat> and you got the same thing, same setup on the other side. No door, but you do have two windows, a larger one and a smaller one. And of course, there's your TV. You got plug and a, a 110 outlet and a cable jack. So if you're at a campground, you hook up to a cable or whatever. Over here, got air conditioner, and uh, I believe there's a yes, another 110, and some interior lights here. And a little bit of storage. You got a couple of cubbies up top on both sides, and then you got some uh, cabinets right here. Reach into both sides. Got pillars in the way. So. So, and you do have some uh, under cab storage that you access underneath the bed here. It goes from side to side all the way. So, I mean, I guess you could put shoes, dirty clothes, something something you don't want hanging out in there, I guess. And the trailer comes with three mattresses that are small. They're the width of the trailer, and you can stack them up and sit on them like a couch during the day if you want to do that so that you can get to that under the bed storage easier yeah and that under storage uh, i think you can take the uh, the boards out and use it for a little more foot room so you're not sitting there with your knees up against your chin yeah you could do that if you don't have a lot of stuff in it but um we the first thing that we did was add a three inch mattress topper to the top of those yes. um, little mattresses so we're not going to be using it that way we'll just use it as a bed 
it just makes it more comfortable, more sturdy. Yeah. We like being outside anyway, so I'm not, I'm not, unless it's just pouring down rain, I don't plan on being in the cab all the time. And got a little handy cubby for the uh, remote control for your TV. Or your phone. Or There's your phone. one on each side. Yes. So, oh, and it does, uh, it does lock from the interior. You got the got your lock. You can lock it from the, from the inside. That way, you can get out and nobody can get in theoretically. So, and now to the fun and exciting part of a teardrop. <clears throat> I have this little magic rod right here. Oh, this is my this is my bungee I use to hold the door open. So, I latch it on there if I need to. Keep it from swinging in the wind. Never seen this feature on another teardrop. So there's latches on each side, just like on the galley. This is a shower and a bathroom. Safety strap to hold your top open so if it's a little windy, that way you're not uh, killing yourself. And we don't want it to fall and hit us on the head. Yes. So, first strap you loosen up, that's your floorboard. It rests on the tongue. Well, there it goes. That's your ceiling. That uh, rod I got out, that's the, uh, that's the thing that holds everything up. So you run inside. See if I can do this first try. It does have a comes with a pin. Let's see, there's supposed to be a hole in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So I'll put the pin in first and then put the hole in there. There we go. So that holds it up. Now you have a bathroom and a shower. So, got a cubby hole for storing your stuff. Got lights. So you can take a shower at night. <clears throat> or just on a cloudy day. Yeah, early a little in the cubby hole to hold your goodies. I'm here in the shower pan, so what you do is you just pull out your potty at night. Here's your restroom. Comes with a cassette toilet. If you look right back there, wonder of all wonders, it's a hot water heater. So you can take a hot shower. Here's the uh, shower wand. It pulls out. goes right up here. And I'm 6'2", and I can stand up and take a shower in here. Which he can't do in Most all... Most travel either. trailers, I have to keep my head in the little little sunroof if that and then I still have to duck down to get my hair wet so this was a uh, quite an amazing thing this is your uh, water cut off you can turn it off and on so there's that and uh, put up or take down is just same as put up just Pull your rod out. <clears throat> Make sure you don't lose that pin. Yes, don't lose the pin. That's why we got it on the key ring. So what you'll do is gather up all your all your canvas, put it inside. Say so you drop your drop your top just like you did. Just it'd be just exactly the opposite. Your top will go down. Be sure to put your strap behind the gas strut, otherwise it'll pop off. Tuck all that in, make sure it's not pinched anywhere. That strap. 
this one over here <clears throat> undo your safety strap from the side same thing go underneath your strut Snap that in down we go And if you're wondering where the water goes for your shower, if you look down there, there's a hose that leads from your shower pan, goes into your your gray water tank. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it good enough. Yeah, angle. you probably can't see it. But yeah, it drains from there, so it doesn't run out on the ground. So you're good there. You're not uh, not breaking any rules at campgrounds and things like that. And your uh, tank drain and your cable. They're a little awkward to get it's, to. Yeah, they're down in down under here, under the uh, the tire fin there, but they're down there. I would take a towel or something to lay on yep. when you're Just in case. having to dump the t tank. I have no At least idea. something to save your knees. So anyway, there is the uh, trailer. We're very excited. We're loaded up. We're fixing to go to Lake a state Mineral park Wells. pretty close and uh, try it out for the first time. Going for two days. And we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. So we'll see you at the camp.